George. <laughs> Just a beautiful day up here. Is that him? I think it is. Yeah, walking to the right side. Not out in the surf. Catching a few waves. Where's Daddy? There he is. Yeah, that's him. The waves aren't very big. Gorgeous day, looking down the coast towards Cairns. Come on, there's some paraflying. Yeah, some of these doing some paraflying. Oh, there they are up there. We're doing that tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow. It's like... Oh, that's Here we are getting ready to do some bumper tubing, Port Douglas. Back of that. That's all they have to do, that one is paddle on the bottom of subways. Here are the boys. Little children. Yeah, they won't come out of that easily. They won't come out of that very easily. Can you come out of here for a minute, please? Legs
Good, now I'm absolutely confident about Sam driving. Good boy. Oh, that's no good. Wipe it out with a towel. Hello. across the ferry crossing at the Daintree River. Looking down the river. There's Carrie and Roger, like on the other side. Just starting to rain, unfortunately. Can I come to the camera? Wait, I want to do something. <laughs> Driving up through the rainforest here. Thank <laughs> you. 
they have the constant gear changing. Ah, I thought the gear changing would be fun. It is for a while. <laughs> at the Dune Tree Rainforest. This is at Cape Tribulation. This is more of Cape Tribulation. Little mangroves. Look at these roots. They really do just fascinate me. It really is just fascinating, Ben. Aren't they amazing? Come with me on an amazing journey. Oh my gosh, awesome, we've made it. Camera. 
Here we are on the boardwalk in the Daintree Rainforest. This is near Noah's Beach and it is a beautiful running creek, lots of very pretty green ferns. Yeah, they told us when we were here before, this is what the wild pigs do for fast food. River going through here. Tree ferns. No. <laughs> More mangroves. Okay, here are some different sorts of tree roots in the mangroves. Here's a lovely tree fern over here, growing over here, see the tree fern? Growing in the tree there. Got a picture of that. Look at all the little roots on the ground. This is on the mangrove boardwalk. Just looking at some of these lovely tree ferns. Stag horns growing in the trees here. There's some great tree ferns up here. Okay, uh, here we are, we're going to take a crocodile cruise today, yep, down the Daintree River, to see the crocs. Well, you and Kerry are negotiating with the boat owner, it's raining yet again. Children are just a little bit restless today. Dad is just waiting for the crocodile cruise here. Don't? About 70 centimetres long. Related to the big white ones, you know the egrets that you see walking about. But it's a mangrove heron, it's a specialist along the rivers and the creeks edges, just like that kingfisher. Same habitat. Good. 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 I don't know where today. She's not playing. That's a pretty close look, eh? No, no. Oh, the question you're asking me was where's mum, as in why isn't she with the young one? Why is it here? No, they're separated. They're not. 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 They're this one's a bit shy, everybody. This one's a bit shy. Don't worry about photographing it, it won't work. If I stop, the, the, it'll disappear. Disappear. Back of her head. This so one's a very shy crocodile. It's always a sheep, isn't it? I call them. We're nearly home, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're at Rex Lookout. Here we go. Paragliding. 
Looking up north, and we can see. Oh, there's some sugar cane, and there's the there's highway. There's lots of sugar cane around here, isn't there? And Sam? yes, <laughs> as we learnt on the bus. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Sam, you're doing the commentary. Oh, All yeah. oh, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, as um, I was saying, uh, this beautiful looking, arrangement of. We're looking at the big uh, tree there. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't and it? This is new can. So? I think the scientific name for these things is trees. <laughs> and, then, and they're rather green. And they're rather green. Oh, it's just so lush. You know? So lush. Lush. Yes, we've already said now. Oh. Oh, I guess we can't make jokes about the parents anymore, eh? <laughs> That's um, more trees. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, but I've got... You'll see there's still <laughs> quite a few trees around here, yeah. I guess you could say. Yeah, and we are in, in little cable car number 21. <laughs> You're up to 13. So this is looking down through the Daintree Rainforest from a boardwalk. This is a strangler fig or something with ferns at the top here. See? Yeah. Now she is. just had a very funny joke about <laughs> Sam using <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> George Jetson. Well, look at that person. Don't try and yeah. sing and yeah. hide it. Imagine if they not drop that. Um, camera out the window. Someone was sticking their camera out the window. Oh, the window isn't open in here. Didn't you see the giant eagle? Maybe. Alright. Oh, okay. Jane, his wife. Oh, yeah. And Dorothy Stella. Heidi. Georgie. Georgie. Okay, the Skyrail Wet Tropics Experience. My name's Heidi, and I'm here to show you where we will, we will be travelling today. Now, as you see, we got onto the cable car at Caravonica Lakes Terminal, and we went do 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 up to Red Peak Station. <laughs> Which was pretty boring in oh, my opinion. Oh, 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 like nice scenery, but oh, pretty, pretty oh, boring. I thought it was lovely. And then we're somewhere between this dot and this dot, <laughs> and we're going to Baron Falls Station, where we will look at the scenery again, and then we'll go. Oh, and apparently it crosses um, Streets Creek, so that should be a bit more exciting. And then we'll end up at Grand Terminal, we'll where there is good food. Toilets, and information and information centre and good markets. So we catch the toilets. Then we'll go home on the choo choo train. On on the train, which winds its way down through the rainforest. And so that should be a great experience. What a great day! So Heidi, yes. So so Heidi, would you recommend Sky World wet tropics experience? I definitely would, Sarah, because. Although the two stations on the way, like, sure, it's pretty scenery and stuff. There's not much to do, though. Like, you just walk, kind of. But, you know, it's definitely worth it, especially and, if you have and, a camera. And yes, Heidi, Heidi, can you tell the viewers about our lovely deal we've got today? Oh, yes, Sam, I can. <laughs> Sam. We can do the whole package for you that is coming up on the cable car, staying at the markets and Coranda for approximately two and a half hours, and then travelling back to Cairns 
on the scenic railway for only a hundred and Twenty nine ninety five. Oh, oh, and oh, that is a wonderful bargain, Sam. Oh, and I've got to say, it's worth it. Well, thank you for coming in today, honey. That's, oh, that's just been great. Oh, thank, and, oh, 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 thank you, Sam. What about Sam. those free knives as well? That, that oh, free cutting. Yep. Dental. We have the range of carving knives. <laughs> And if you ring in the first five minutes, and use your you'll get card. The, and use your credit card. <laughs> good one, <tip. laughs> you get a free wood block in which to keep your knives safe and sharp. Oh, oh. that's fantastic. That's a great deal. Yeah. So, come to Skyrail. <laughs> <laughs> so I recommend the Skyrail Wet Tropics Experience and. You can pick up a trip guide, as I have here. Your trip from, your, guide. from your trip guide. <laughs> from your trip guide, <laughs> or at the bottom station where you hop on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you buddy. That yes. was and the and at the bottom where it finishes, there's a nice big pool. Yeah, the lovely. Oh, and there's one you know, down there. No one down there. Oh, and there's oh, and there's oh, there's no one down there. Oh, 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 no, no, that, one, that one's not running, though. And yeah, so it's a bit dirty. That's Okay, oh my this gosh, is the view no. of the waterfalls. What are these waterfalls called? Well, that's good. Mm. I think I've got about one or two more. Yeah. In fact, I think that was enough, and I don't really know. The bottom of the waterfalls? Mm. The dam. Go oh. down the rock face. Over here to the falls. Where are the falls? Oh, over there. Huh? Alright, oh, let's go down. Yes, that was my last one. Hi. That was the last break in my life. Well, this is Yes, that's where we're here. Okay, we're at Karandarawa Station.
describe this one for size. It comes from Eric McKenna, a professional collector of North Adelaide, South Australia. It's a famous 19th century sculptor and it's almost certainly worth quite a bit, hence its appearance here tonight, because Eric is a lucky collector, it turns out. First bought this piece for just a few pounds, then he sold it, he missed it dreadfully, got it back for just $600, and now he'd like the panel's valuation for today, which Eric, of course, hopes to be better than that. Uh, Anna, Peter, Peter, you're our bronze man. Uh, what do you think of this little piece? Well, Anna, uh, Clive, I think it's a lovely piece. It's typical of um, France and Paris at the end of the 19th century, which is as significant as Greece and Rome and Byzantium were in their periods when they influenced world art. A pretty good example? A pretty good example.